personal pronouns as i told you are of three kinds i we you he she it they these are all personal pronouns hello viewers and aspirants welcome to watch world sales services academy by the delanga and today i am starting talk on third part of speech pronoun I have already spoken on the noun and adjective in my previous talks and if you have missed or if you are new to my channel please you can go and take benefit from my talks by watching and then practicing at your home this is totally free and uh, I am also available on my whatsapp number email and uh, facebook group of virtual civil services academy by the day langa before I start my talk I would request you to please go to YouTube and uh, subscribe virtual civil services academy by the day langa so that you could get notification of my future videos and also share the links with aspirants so that they may also benefit from my talks so what is pronoun as you know that parts of speech are gateway to learning English grammar and I believe that by, by this time you would have got command over noun and adjective today I will teach you pronoun so guys pronoun is an important part of speech and uh, simply it can be defined as a word which is used instead of noun pronoun means for noun it is used instead of noun in a sentence so instead of hitting a noun every time in every sentence we use pronouns I hope that you know about personal pronouns there are different kinds of pronouns which I will share with you right now and then I will speak on each of them individually to impart their knowledge to you so first kind of pronouns is personal pronouns then we have reflexive or emphatic pronouns then we have a demonstrative infinitive and distributive pronouns and uh, after that we have a relative pronoun and finally we have interrogative pronouns i will try to speak on each of these kinds of pronouns in my future videos but today i will exclusively be speaking on personal pronouns because their usage is very important for new learners new beginners who are not familiar with personal pronouns of first person second person and third person they also don't know their cases like uh, native objective or possessive cases of all these pronouns so today i will speak exclusively on personal pronouns and i believe that if you listen this talk and uh, practice at your home you will get sound understanding of personal pronouns so let's start guys so guys personal pronouns as i told you are of three kinds i we you he she it they these are all personal pronouns but all these have different usages and take different forms of verbs after them you need to understand this and you also need to understand their usage in an objective and possessive case because some personal pronouns are really used as possessive adjectives depending on their use we can say whether these are adjectives or personal pronouns i hope after this talk many of the queries existing in your mind would be clear personal pronouns are only two i and we are called personal pronouns of first person i and we i is singular and we is plural personal pronoun I take singular form of the verb after pronoun and we takes plural form of the word after pronoun we. These are also used in possessive case. I has two possessive forms, my and mine. And we also have two possessive forms, our and ours. Then the first person pronouns can also be used accusatively or objectively. Me is objective case of personal singular pronoun I and us is objective case of personal pronoun we. I hope it is clear, it is not difficult. The only thing you need to know is the definition and the place of these pronouns in a certain sentence. You must have full understanding of all these pronouns because many candidates make huge mistakes, make huge blunders in use of pronouns are personal pronouns so i hope that you have got uh, understanding of first person uh, pronoun i and we and they are possessive and, uh, and accusative cases 
please note that the first person pronoun basically denote the person who are speaking like i we <coughs> these pronouns denote the person who are actually speaking on that particular moment now let's move to second person pronoun you you is used both in singular as well as plural you denotes person who is spoken to the first person pronoun basically speaks to second person pronoun like i am speaking to you you is second person singular as well as plural pronoun and it is spoken to it denotes noun which are spoken to and like uh, personal pronoun of first person possessive case of uh, personal pronoun of second person has also two forms you are and yours while it has only one form in accusative case you then lastly we have a personal pronoun of third person personal pronoun of third person basically denote the person who are spoken of means at the time of uh, speaking they are not there but uh, they are being referred in the discussion between the first person and second person personal pronouns they are he she it and they he is personal pronoun of third person for masculine and she is personal pronoun of third person for feminine while it is used for the neuter gender and for a he she it plural form they is used to denote personal pronoun of third person similarly they have a different usages in possessive as well as accusative cases possessive case of he is his possessive case of she is her or hers possessive case of neuter pronoun is its possessive case of third person plural pronoun they is their or theirs similarly accusative case of third person masculine pronoun is him and uh, accusative case of third person feminine pronoun she is her accusative case of third person pronoun it is it and accusative case of third person plural pronoun they is them you need to understand different cases of pronouns they exactly have similar usage as we had a usage of noun like noun is used in a subjective or nominative case possessive case and objective or accusative case since pronoun is used instead of noun it has got the same usage like it can be used in possessive case it can be used in objective case or accusative case and it can be used in nominative or subjective case you must know all these because these are very important and their skill their knowledge reveals your grip over grammar main thing is application of rules of grammar memorizing is a uh, useless understanding useless if you cannot properly apply these rules when you are writing or speaking so please after learning these rules you make it your habit to apply these rules in your writing in composition and do practice at your home and assessment from the people who know english grammar and composition or you can also send me i am here i am available free of cost and i will support you guide you and i will also teach you please note that personal pronouns have two possessive forms so out of them my our your her and their are used before the nouns are used with the nouns and simply do the work of possessive adjectives that's why they are called pronominal adjectives since pronoun is used instead of noun so like noun it has three genders masculine feminine and neuter gender it is used for the things without life it is also used for animals unless we know their gender it is used for the young child unless we know their sex it is also used to refer to certain preceding sentence like i went to buy book of english grammar but it was not available at the shop so in this sentence pronoun it refers to book grammar book which has been used in the preceding sentence so personal pronoun of third person it is also used as temporary subject before the verb of to be when the real subject follows like uh, 
it is clear that you are going to fail. It is uncertain whether they will come or not. So in these sentences, okay. personal pronoun or third person, it has been used as temporary subject. And uh, in certain sentences, it is used to okay. give emphasis to a noun or pronoun. Like it is you who made mistake. Like uh, it was they who did not come on time. It can be subject of impersonal verbs. Like it rains. It was a roaring thunder. In speaking of weather or time, we say it is rainy weather, it is raining, it is 10 o'clock, it is so hot outside. Very important, now I am discussing very important point. Since personal pronouns are used instead of noun, they must agree with noun number, noun gender. So it must be of the same number, same person and same gender. Personal pronoun of third person neuter gender, it is also used in a succeeding sentence to, to represent collective nouns. Like the army fought bravely but it was defeated in the end. Collective nouns used as a whole take singular pronoun of third person. Like army fought bravely but it was defeated in the end. Here pronoun it has been used as a singular personal pronoun of third person. However, when collective noun conveys idea of separate individuals, we use plural personal pronouns. When two or more than two singular nouns are joined by conjunction and they take plural pronoun. Like Pushpa and Akash are students, they work very hard in the class. However, when there are two nouns referring to the same person, we use singular pronoun for them. Like uh, the principal and teacher of class went to his house. Here, the principal and teacher refer to the same person. When two singular nouns are joined by a conjunction and but are preceded by each or every, they take singular pronoun. And same is case with either or are, neither or nor. And likewise, we use singular pronouns when we use neither, nor, either, or we use singular pronouns. However, when singular noun and plural noun are connected by R, O, R, R, N, R, N, O, R, they take plural pronoun. Now this is very interesting and you must know, when we use multiple pronouns in sentence, rule is that we should use second person first, then third person, then first person pronoun. Like you, he and I. Not I, he and you. When we use two pronouns, say for example personal pronoun of second person and personal pronoun of first person, you say you and I, not I and you. Likewise when we use second person pronoun and third person pronoun in a sentence, we say you and he, you and Aslam, you and Pushpa. I hope it is clear that this is very much technical and it shows you are skills of grammar. It shows you a grip and grammar. Please note, I am repeating again. When you have to use multiple pronouns in a sentence, rule is uh, place second person pronoun first and third person after it and lastly the personal pronoun of first person. And likewise use their forms accordingly in the objective case as well. Possessive or objective cases. You have to use them accordingly. Second person should be placed before third person and first person personal pronouns. So guys, today I spoke on uh, pronoun and its kinds and then I spoke on personal pronouns and uh, their usage in certain sentences and also discussed uh, cases of personal pronouns like possessive case, objective case and nominative case. And I hope that this is a very simple talk and you would get clear idea of how they are used in sentences. So thank you very much for patient listening. And lastly, I would request you to please go to YouTube and uh, subscribe Virtual Civil Services Academy by Zede Langa. If you are already a subscriber, please share the link with all the needy and potential candidates so that they may also benefit from my talks. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.